all the way up until it's ready. Okay. Ready. Yeah, just talk into the mic. I'd like to welcome you all to the uh, I Alliance for Better History 6 meeting. We'll start off by introductions. My name is Marvis Phillips. I'm acting chair, public safety chair, land use chair, parliamentarian and legislative analyst of the Alliance. Dennis. Hello, welcome again. Uh, Dennis Eisner, administrative officer for the Alliance. I'm Denise Story, TV producer at Payback, and I live next door. Susan Bryan, treasurer of AVD6, and I live across the street. Uh, Larry Williamson, I live here, and I'm a co-chair of the East Tenderloin Neighborhood Watch. Anthony Acerretto, officer at Tenderloin Station. Uh, Captain Teresa Jones. Steve Robertson, a worker of the hospitality house, a food distributor for a... Uh, uh, groceries. Uh, Rachel Howard with Berg Davis Public Affairs. Steve Cookman with Group I, our developer who will be presenting the project on Market Street. Uh, Stephen Tosilato with SGC, Strategic Communications on the Market Street Line. Jed Weiner with JMA Insurance. Uh, Tony Pimento, SF City Watch. A Haas Barbary Coast Collective Manager. Brendan Allen, the attorney for Barbary Coast Medical Center. That's pretty nice. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, hi. I'm Bruce Rafferty, President of the Association. Huh? President of the Association. Got no idea. Okay, thank you all for coming. Our ground rules are on the back of your agendas. They're simply, please, we ask you to turn off all pagers, cell phones, electronic devices. Um, this event is being videotaped um, so we don't hear various things. If you do not wish to be on the video, stay behind the camera. No hackling or name calling. We ask you to create a safe environment uh, which every participant feels free to speak by reserving any negativity. We ask you to speak responsibly, emphasize on the positive. Uh, please do not interrupt another speaker or engage in side conversations or other distracting behavior when others are talking or speaking. This event is being sponsored by a uh, nonprofit. There is no political campaigning inside the community room. We ask you to take your activities outside. Is there any on the third item on the agenda? Are there any additions to the agenda? Is there a motion to approve the agenda? I so move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Same. The membership committee, your organization, next slide, please. This organization is a membership based organization. Our membership application form is on our website, abd6.org, and we ask people to uh, go to the website if you want to join. We appreciate it. And I have a bag. Do you want to pass around? I forgot my collection bottle tonight. We have a collection bag. This is, we help pay for the printing and copy and cost. We ask people to give freely of what they can afford, but not take money out of your pocket if you can't afford it. And we thank you. And we look forward to having you visit our website.
I'm obviously the new captain of the Line Station. Uh, you know, a lot of stuff, a lot of things that people have been asking me is kind of what my experience is. Also, what's my plan? Um, the plan has already been put into motion by by the station as well as some of the people in this room. Um, there's some developers here. You have, I mean, all this is already happening. So my job is really to clean up the areas that need to be cleaned up, right, and make it a safe environment for everybody. That's my goal. It's kind of sounds a little simple. It's a lot more difficult than just that, right? So we have a lot of resources in the city. We have a lot of we have a lot of people talking about what we need to do. We have a lot of people that are taking action. Um, the resources are not only from law enforcement, but the DA's office, city attorney, uh, public, uh, public health. I mean, there's a lot of different entities that are working together. Uh, so, you know, you, you've seen some of the groups come out. My job is to really coordinate everybody. I can't, we can't do it by ourselves. There's no way. And so our biggest allies are the people that live in this district um, and work in this district. And so we really need everybody's help. Uh, I'm open to any ideas that you guys have. I don't, I don't believe, I believe in kind of brainstorming. In all the meetings that I've been to so far, I've asked people to, you know, tell me what it is that's on your mind, but don't, I'm about solutions. We can complain all day, we can sit around the table and say, this is horrible, this is horrible, this is horrible, but at the end of the day, if we don't have a plan and we can't put something together, then we really have nothing but the next day to complain again, right? So we're gonna look at our staffing, and I'm not gonna complain about not having staffing. We have staffing. We have cops that are really good at what they do, and they've been doing it. Sometimes it may not, it may not be to someone's liking, but the fact of the matter is what we do is we bring people resources. If you sell drugs, if you're a user, uh, if you're homeless, we're gonna connect you to whatever resources we have. Yes, places are filled up, the navigation center is filled up, but there is a waiting list. And I'll tell you, I've never seen so many resources ever. I've been doing this for 20 years. Um, there are waiting lists, but there were no waiting lists before because we didn't have the services to provide. So we're really the in-between. We provide, we'll, we'll go up to anybody that we think needs services and we'll offer it. Do you want services? It's a choice. And either they're gonna say yes or no. If they say yes, majority of the time people are saying yes. We connect them to what they're most comfortable doing. So once they're in somebody else's hands, we just follow up later on. We have a homeless car, they go out every day, um, majority of the city, their homeless car starts at either 3.30 or 4.30. We start at 5.30 because I want more people on the street. Uh, we'll reassess how we are and then we'll adjust. We're, we're gonna be very flexible. Our scheduling's gonna be very flexible. Um, we're gonna do things a little differently than before. So if it's not working, we're gonna tweak it. We're gonna have bikes, we're gonna have foot beats, and we're gonna have patrols. So with the growing district, we're gonna have five car sectors. And really, those car sectors are gonna be dependent on our ability to get around. So if there's an area that is, let's say, not getting the services that, that's needed, then what we'll do is, is actually adjust that. And we'll put bikes in the area. Sometimes, as you know, traffic is horrible, right? Can we all agree on that? So what's better, I used to ride a bike in the mission. Our goal was to always be the first ones to every call. And we would literally be the first ones to every call because traffic is horrible. And so bikes are the best resources we have. Seeing people on Market Street, connecting with the community, connecting with the businesses, that's what we have. We have our footy. So in order for us to, for me, um, where I come from, you have to connect with the community. Each car sector is going to be responsible for their car sector. Now, consistency is everything, and so we really want to make sure that our car sectors, our beats, our bikes, they know the community in which they're serving. Makes sense, right? It hasn't always been that way because, as you know, our hiring was on a low, low end. So now that we have bodies, now we're able to actually put it out there, 
our people can be consistent with the cars that they have as far as the, so there's car sectors, so we'll have consistent car sectors. You'll see the same faces in the car in that car sector. So you'll personally get to know them. Please talk to them. Just say, just, you know, if you're developing, you know, stop the cop on the street and start talking to them. You know, tell them what your issues are, tell them what you need. And it's really that simple. So, like I said, I'm open for ideas. Last Tuesday of each month is my community meeting. I'd ask that everybody comes. Um, I'd rather have standing room only. To be honest, honestly, I would rather pack the room and everyone voice their opinion because right now, it seems like block to block, everyone has their safety meetings. Block to block. And I'd like to see everybody actually in the same, same room communicating what might be successful for them, might be successful for you in, on your block. And so it's very important that we have that communication and for us to, to actually put it out on the table. Okay. Um, do you guys have anything for me? What's yes. developing? Development? Development. Yeah, developer. Taking a property that may have either been abandoned or, you know, building new businesses, bringing in new businesses, that kind of thing. Okay, I just wondered what you meant with the word okay. in what context. I'm sorry? I, I can't. My last name? Ewans. Ewans. I, I, I've kept everybody kind of guessing. Um, everyone knows my business, so I'm just going to put it out there. Um, my last name was Gracie last week. Um, my divorce was final last week, and so now I have my maiden name back. Ewans. <laughs> So it's, it's one of those things, I, I didn't mean to confuse everybody. This was last minute and it was confusing for everyone. I had emails that have both my names in it and they don't, it's like, I can't wait to meet Captain Gracie, Captain Ewans. It's like, okay, let's keep on confusing everyone. <laughs> so, anybody else? Guys in the back, come on. I, will, I wasn't here in town to hear some of the things which was talking about us as the what? Sorry. What, do you, sorry. what do you, how do you see your future here in Tenderloin, and what do you see, what change do you see that can happen? Um, so I was here, I, I can't remember what year exactly I was here, I think it was in 2002, something like that. Um, this district has changed vastly. I mean, you couldn't even, you could, you step out of the car, you get an arrest because somebody's either selling something or up to no good. Now, you know, it's totally changed. You have people that are, you know, that are living here, that are residents, that are out at night, out in the early mornings, really trying to improve and connect the communities. And that's the difference that I see. Um, I see a lot of people that are either homeless or drug or alcohol dependent that actually want to be off the street. You didn't really have that before because maybe it was about resources, maybe they didn't trust us. Um, but that's a nice change. That's a very nice change. For our future, um, kind of cliche, it looks bright to me. Uh, <laughs> but it does, it looks really good. I mean, the district itself is going to be changing come Sunday. For those of you that don't know, the district, our district is going to double in size. So, you know, it's, I think it's going to be the best district in, in San Francisco because you have so much diversity, you have so many different businesses and people, and it just, it makes for a really good combination. And people are very serious about improving this area. And when you have that, it's nowhere but up. Well, Q Street is a very strong drug culture. Uh, mm -hmm. but out in the open, where they can see it, you know, selling and buying. And going on to continue. And uh, where it has changed, yeah, because different people come down here, the problem still persists. People coming back there. And it's even more bold out front now. You see them being caught that by, in time they won't, but they might even know who's participating, but they don't want to do anything about this. Uh, I've seen it. I know exactly what you're talking about. 
I have a hybrid car that the department gave me. <laughs> And it's really funny. We were just, I was making them drive around with me. And um, the things that people do in front of you, we're in full uniform, but we're in a, what is it? Ford? Uh, Ford Fusion. Ford Fusion. No one would ever guess that <laughs> cops are going to jump out of Ford Fusion. We confuse so many people, I can't even tell you. I mean, people will sell right in front of me. And, um, do I need to, what? No, no, you can finish. Okay. <laughs> um, so, for the quick answer is, we're going to, we, we're discussing a lot of different programs, and we're gonna we're gonna make we're gonna make changes. You know, I, I hate making predictions and promises, but we're gonna do our best to kind of think outside the box and come up with different ideas, different approaches, because we have a lot of people that are very very experienced and really want to get rid of the problem as opposed to a band aid. I don't want to push it to another block. We don't. So, um, when you, since the, the new district starts this Sunday, are we getting there already some additional resources? Talks? Yes, yeah. Are you, is the plan still to take some of the parking that's along the front of the, um, the park here along Low Decker and to tra transfer that to uh, police parking only? As was, I mean, that, that was kind of like the plan we discussed last year, but I just wondered if that was still the um, I know a little bit. Um, I'm, let me ask you, would you rather have police cars parked on the street? Or would you rather have people that are loitering to sell drugs, use drugs? I mean, really, it's it's your neighborhood. Um, what do you guys think? We'd like to see the police cars. The cars are good. Cars are good. problem is they're not selling on that corner, they're selling on this corner. Right, which is why I'm posing the question to you. I mean, I we there's a lot of different ideas being thrown around about, about parking. Um, but I really want to also hear how it's going to impact the community because I haven't, I've been, this is my third week, so I really haven't been able to have this discussion necessarily. Um, parking obviously is an issue. The building is, is an issue for as far as how many people we're actually going to eventually have in, in the station. So there's a lot of things that are, are going to be changing. We're not really sure what the overall approval is going to be for what they're going to provide us. We'd like to see the parking there. I don't see the police cars there. Okay. We're not, that's not really that many parking spaces. Right, anywhere. right. And I think the impact on the neighborhood would be positive to have police. Okay. All right. Um, this is, um, I live across the street and we have a white, a white strip in front of our place. We really need that to, for people to go, to, 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 to get in and get out mm -hmm. at the loading zone because it's like, you know, there's so many elderly people and their families drive them up. That's you know, and, and the thing is, that's that's kind of very important to us that 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 be not used. And what is happening with that now? Somebody somebody uh, said, some police person said to somebody that it was okay for them to park there. Are you talking across from the station or yeah, across from the station? Oh, so you live across from our station? Yeah, I live. Okay. We live I'm sorry, I forget where I am. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I'm just saying, uh, Michael wasn't here, but he did bring that up to us. Mm -hmm that we kind of like, you know, the white stripe, white things in front of the buildings, you know, have to be for the people in the buildings. Um, I'll apologize right now because I accidentally parked there thinking it was our oh. parking. Oh, so okay. yeah. that was my car. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'll admit, well, okay. I'll admit it. I actually, I was in such a rush that I, I didn't even, I know, right? You should. Um, anyways, no. Uh, We've already had that discussion. Okay, thanks. And there will be more cars there, and if there is one there, you can personally come over and talk to me, okay. and I'll have it moved. Okay, what thanks. Him? What is he has a hand up for a while. Yeah. Is that what you meant? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. When the discussion was going around about expanding the borders, um, we were very thrilled that one of them was happening. Um, and one of the biggest parts that we wanted to see was taking our border to um, at least 4th Street to encompass all of the BART station entrances. Um, because we have seen, uh, as another mostly officer has seen, a commuter uh, mentality on the drug dealing coming in and out of the city through the BART system. And I'm wondering if uh, between uh, your station and the DA's office, we can put pressure Park Police Commissioner's Office to get the Park Police Officers to at least try to 
keep the drug dealers that get off.